traumatic and sorrowful farewell to the final year law student, a young woman robbed of her life by her lover, a beacon of hope for the family and her community. A will be constitutional judge, but her ambition suddenly perished. A painful experience to the family. Nositelo was very close to me, and I cannot best explain her closeness to me. She was never raised by her mother. I raised her since she was four years old, and I took it upon myself to raise and educate her. So I am heartbroken. She was only four years old until today. I am hurt and very hurt for the passing of Nostello. I'm not ready to talk about her. It is difficult to see parents mourning for their child. We're expecting a beautiful graduate, but this one, we did not see it coming. Brutal killing of women has been condemned. I'm hurt whenever a student passes away, whenever a woman student is brutalized. But this brutalization is beyond words. Bishop Lamini, I also get more hurt when a NASFA student passes away. A call for prioritize and implement comprehensive strategies to deal with gender-based violence has been made. Gender-based violence needs all of us to work together with each other, not against each other. It needs government, civil society, traditional leadership, religious leaders, because it needs leadership to be shown where the people are. And it's something that government can fight on its own. The, in the implementation of the National Strategic Framework on Gender-Based Violence, what is paramount today is that there must be accountability on leadership from all levels. Government must account on what they are doing. Higher Education Ministry says focus also needs to be directed to a boy child what are we telling the boys such that some of them become monsters like nostrello's boyfriend and what is it that we don't tell them which we are supposed to tell them and the, there is there must be a no no go area everywhere where boys are we need to ask this question because clearly there is a challenge and a problem Stakeholders believe that gender-based violence would continue to haunt South Africa if family structures and values are not intensified. They want a curriculum that would talk to gender-based violence at schools. I'm Gulule Kunyembezi, SAPC News, Matatiele.